on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Please? No. Please? No. Please? No. I'm telling you, I don't know how I did it. I just did it. That's, that's all. There has to be more to it than that. You will not. I know what I did. I didn't know there was going to be in martial arts, not in my class, but yeah, here we are now. What seems to be the problem? Not so too long. Hmm. Easy to go. Now, who might this be? That's your. Yes. It's old girl, he just bows and his dialogues. Okay, I pr appreciate the respect, but who is this? <sighs> well, to make a long story short, he's a uh, um, martial arts enthusiast, and once he learned that I could use key. No, it's chi. Wait, what's the difference? Uh, one's Chinese, one's... Are you sure? Yes. Hmm. Very well. Either way, yes. As soon as he learned that I can actually use it, he's pretty much... He won't leave me alone. Oh. Interesting. So, I'm guessing you wish to learn how to use it as well. Yes, yes, please, please, please. Can, can, can you teach me? Like, I came upon it myself by accident as well. As did my pupil here. Oh. So, you have no real tips or No. I, I'm sorry. Ojo having no choice but to leave in defeat. Okay, that uh, that's done. Hmm. So, what's on the training regiment today, Master? Hmm. Why don't you take a break? It's your first day of school after all. What? Why? It pays to relax every now and again. You don't have to kill yourself over training. That could lead to repercussions. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Very well. Ezeku, he's training in his room. You know, he's like, yeah, I know he told me to relax, but ugh, I can't. I'm anxious. I want to get stronger. I want to... I want to surpass all my... It's what I really want to do. I want to beat him. But this chi, it's... It's even more... Possible. <laughs> I just can't. I should aim straight for the weak spot. And expose him to the world. Uh, wait. No. No. That's not. I don't want that. Do I? Is that. Uh... What is going on? So much. Uh, I've changed. But is I believe it's a good thing. Isn't it? <laughs> I 
least I hope so. As yes, Izuku, he stops his training. He tries to get his mind off the holes. Like, yeah, let's not. You know. But. He just can't stop thinking about All Might. Now, he pretty much got lucky when it came to getting one for all. And he just like, okay, so. Really? How can you be such a. That's not my business. As in. Now it is the heroes versus villains. Izuku, he's. Upset. Because he. Actually, you know, the, yeah, I'm your teacher. But. No, it, it doesn't matter. At the very least, I'll get the good grade, and that's pretty much it. When he finds out he's up against Bakugo, he has a devilish smile on his face as he just stares Bakugo down. This is going to be the best day ever. Well, it would, the icing on the cave would be... Him staring at all my thinking to himself being able to go up against you. But I'll make do with what I've been given. Mongo has no to change. He's he's like not as nice, timid. Hell. He doesn't even give off the same cinnamon roll energy that he used to. It's still there, it's just there's something else attached to it. That's what worries him. Because which side is going to triumph in this fight? Within Izuku's mind. Well, one way to find out. As soon as it begins, Bago does his usual shit. He goes straight for Izuku, in which Izuku just Blocks it, takes the brunt of the attack full, full on like it's nothing. Bakugo goes, how is this not affecting you? You're too weak. Which strikes a nerve. Having someone who he's been bullying, ridiculing, and all that for years, calling him weak is... You bastard. But as soon as he notices, <laughs> I got something for you. Hmm? Him pulling the pin. And as soon as he does, Izuku's eyes widen as he's engulfed by the whole explosion. All Might is shocked at this, but that he would use such an attack on a student, let alone at all during a training exercise. So he runs down there, full force, just check on Izuku, which they see tattered cl clothes and cloth of his hero costume. Bakugo, realizing that he might have killed Izuku, all might about to reprimand him harshly. So, well, I should have known. Wait, what? <sighs> I must say, that was very impressive, Katsuki. You're alive? Oh, yes, yes, I... I do believe I'm very much alive, no thanks to you, old friend. I, uh, I, I, what's wrong? As yes, Izuku's hair is singed. There's a burn mark where part of his hero costume used to be. And he's bleeding. You can see part of his muscles. 
as it slowly begins to heal. Bakugo looking like, what? How? All my looking at this. I. I. Uh, I. How, how? How are you doing this? When it comes to Chi, the possibilities are limitless. Hmm. So, Kaski, ready to go again? Oh my, he's like, no, 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 I stopped the match. It's, no, 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 no. I am not letting him get away with that. Huh? Wait, what? He really tried to kill me. No, I didn't. I, I, I swear I didn't. You weren't supposed to... You weren't supposed to take the attack? You are supposed to dodge or run away like you used to. Run away. <laughs> now why would I do that? Is <laughs> yes, Izuku starts walking towards Bakugo, but the closer he gets, the more they notice that he is starting to put more force in his steps. First, it's just a light walk until it starts break and crack the tile to a point where you can see his full in foot indention and uh, all my knows that he's serious him looking at Bakugo thinking he wouldn't kill a student would he they seem like they have history but he he couldn't as Zuru is towering over Koski. Fisk completely caught back, ready to deliver this decisive blow. All Might having no choice but to step right in front of it and stop it. Why did you interfere in my fight, All Might? <laughs> gonna kill him. No. I was just gonna hurt him a little. A, a, a little? <sighs> Their size is over. Everyone go home. As yes, he Izuku, he's pissed. But, oh well, fine. Bakugo, he's somewhat relieved, but also wondering why did All Might stop him? But then All Might, he goes right to the teacher's lounge. He's fully buffed up, and he is holding the hand that Izuku punched, and it is stinging. It hurts. He's wondering what the hell. How strong is this kid now? As he does know, it's like, uh, he didn't even have that glow with him. That cheese stuff, or whatever he called it. So how much worse would that punch have been if he was trying? Uh, damn it, that hurts. As Zuku, he's pretty much... <sighs> Don't expect no more hero to save you next time, Kotsky. We will have our fight. I don't care if you feel as though you're the best. I will knock you off your little pedestal. <sighs> what? <sighs> Listen, we're not friends, 
and considering how you treated me, we probably never were. Right now, I don't care. All I need to know is that, are you going to get in my way? What? Are you going to get in my way? Yes or no? What are you talking about getting in your way? You better just... That is not what I asked. Seeing how, yes, he's even serious. There is not a smile, not even a hint of huh, hesitation in his voice. His tone is stern. So, I... Uh, no. No what? I won't get in your way. Good. Because like I said, oh my won't be able to save you. Next time. I'll actually put some real force into it. As yeah, that's pretty much how that turned out. Onto the whole... Eh. USJ attack. Ziku already knows is something's off. He can sense it. He tries to warn Aizawa as well as 13, but there's... Yeah, you're just a little paranoid. It's when the villains do arrive and make themselves known. Ziku's like, I told you so, as he jumps to the bottom of the stairs and begins dispatching with villains. Aizawa telling 13 to watch the other students as he joins in as well. While also reprimanding Izuku for deciding to be so reckless. As, yeah, this fight is... They turn out a lot of villains, much to Shigaraki's pissed off nature. To one where he just summons Nomu and sends it to attack. At least, Eraserhead. Just like you can guess, he's not... He's no match for the Nomu. To the point where, yes, he does j get hurt just as bad as before. But then Shigaraki turns its sights onto Izuku. In which. So this thing was meant to kill All Might? Prime All Might, yes. Finally. Uh, what? A worthy opponent. You do know this thing could, as Izuku just begins unloading punch after punch when it comes to the Nomu. It not doing anything, and Izuku already knows this is why. Shock absorption, hyperspeed regeneration, super strength. Yeah, it's three quirks, but it makes no sense. Izuku Rocky, how do you know that? It feels weird when I punch it. As well as, even if I do do damage, it heals itself already. And this strength is not just because of its muscles. Though it is strong without the quirk itself. Hmm. How? <laughs> I'm not an idiot. But you do have one design flaw. Yeah, what's as Izuku stabs his hand straight into the nose brain, killing it. As he just drops it and he aims straight towards Shigaraki, only Korgir being able to teleport him away split second. Why? Why do people just keep getting in my way? It's just getting my... Up my damn nerves. Oh well. As yes, he already arrives back. Shigaraki is still like... What just happened? Kurigiri's, we gotta go. But not before All Might shows up... 
What? Wait, what's going on? As yes, this is pretty much Izuku's villains came here to kill us, or at least you. What? Not too quick on the uptake, are you? <sighs> no matter. Have him setting his sights on Shigaraki, but they're already gone. And Izuku is pissed. Rightfully so. But because of his teacher, he's... Oh man, that's right. I need help, as I was sensei. Him walking up to him and healing him. All Might seeing this broken bone fixed, cuts, bruises, gone. Hell, even his eye isn't swollen shut anymore. You can heal. Oh, I forget to mention that. Huh. Oh well. <sighs> I'm done. Okay, I'm going home. I don't want to deal with reporters or anything. Is it good just walking off? All oh my. You can heal? That kid is something else. Uh, yeah. But he seems to hate you for some reason. What? What? No! No, 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 that's impossible. There's no way. Uh, who could hate. Oh, what? I, um, hmm. Yeah, I did something very stupid now that I really think about it. What did you do? Well, as he does explain, as I was, or you are an idiot. You, you could have phrased that better. A lot better. But no, you just had to... No, I don't think you... You can't be here without a quirk. Well, he's not just doing this to... Follow his dream. He's doing this to prove you wrong. And believe me. That... Is one hell of a motivation. So... Is this going to end up becoming a problem? Depends on how you classify a problem. Because if anything, it seems like he's going to be re pretty much uh, reaching towards that number one spot of yours. <sighs> Damn. Yeah, I, I, I guess you have a point. Maybe I should make it up to him. So, as he's already actually tried to get into contact with Izuku, actually, it was right after the entrance exam in which he did try to offer him one for all. But Izuku is pretty much a hell no. So, as you can assume, yeah, All Might doesn't really know how to really make it up to Izuku at all. It becomes the fact that, oh yes, we, uh, we gotta investigate this whole villain infiltration thing, so you guys are free to do whatever you want until such and such. Oh yeah, and sports festival is still going on, so prepare for that too. Yeah, if you don't want to embarrass yourselves or this school. So Izuku decides to train even more. More than he really did before to the point where Tung is actually worried about him. Him asking, Izuku not telling. Now it's the beginning of the sports festival. Izuku, he's no idiot. He knows that, yeah, chances are people are going to be smushed together and you're going to have to find an alternate route to actually get to the other stages. The way he does, he actually starts to wall run 
and starts hopping and moving to the point where no one can see him, but he gets to where he needs to go. As far as who actually gets in the first place, it actually is Toroki with Bogo in second and Ziku in fourth after Ida. Which he is upset about. Especially considering his style is more along the lines of Tai Lung, which is a snow leopard. <laughs> that can be a lot more difficult for a human to actually grasp. Especially when he gets on all fours. But the true show of his interesting tactics lies within the cavalry battle. And he's actually... He doesn't really want anyone to be on his team, but he knows he has to have someone. So he just thinks, okay, you, you, and you. I'll be the attacker and you guys just guard me. So you got so you said you want to be the rider. Yes. Okay. Fine. That that's cool. <sighs> oh, what's wrong? Midoriya. There's something off about him. He said he doesn't have a quirk, which I confirm he doesn't. But this chi that he uses. What about it? It's dangerous. But also helpful at times. Care to explain? He healed me after I took on that Nomu thing. However, when he took it on, it felt like a dark presence was looming over him, controlling him. I don't know how to really describe it, but it was dark, worries. As yes, as I, well, he doesn't even have the mic on, just in case. But brother Mike, hearing this, like, you gotta be overreacting, man. Come on, how how could you possibly? I don't know. At first, it was just a gut feeling, but ever since he healed me, I started seeing a bit differently. What? Yeah, I mean, if anything, it's almost like he opened my eyes in a shape or form. But... <laughs> so, this darkness you're talking about... Well, right now it's gone, but I still see some revenants of it. This aura-like substance that surrounds Izuku. Hmm. If anything, it, it, right now it's a pale white. But hints of darkness. That is not a place I want anyone to see, so let's keep it between us. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. You're not going crazy or anything. You're like, what? Nothing. Nothing. I said nothing. As now, Izuku, yes, he's pretty much gathered more points. To the point where, yes, he doesn't have to worry about the elimination. When it comes to the one-on-one -on -one battles, his battle versus Shinso doesn't go as canon because he knows how to keep his mouth shut. As he just beats Shinso and that's that. Him actually telling Shinso that you can't just keep relying on your quirk like that. You have to actually use your physical attributes at times, you know that right. 
Hmm. But I do have one question. What is your quirk exactly? I mean, you don't have to tell me if you don't feel like it. I'm just curious. Uh, brainwash. Really? Yes. I can. Him giving the full description of a Izuku. Like, wow, you'll make a great hero. Uh, what? You heard me. You you would make a great hero. Uh, really? But uh, come on. Seriously, I'm quirkless. For one, so. <laughs> You are? Yes. That, that's impossible. No, that's Chi. <laughs> that's... That's impressive. Yeah. No, I, I know, but... Believe me, it was no walk in the park. Definitely not. I understand how you feel about people being born with these amazing quirks. People praising them and ridiculing you because either you don't have a quirk or your quirk is a little weird or villainous. As yes, they're forgetting that people... There, there's still a tournament going on here. But this is pretty much Izuku broadcasting how he feels on live TV. Inko's listening Stain, other heroes, villains, all that shit. The whole world is tuning in to hear Izuku's point of view. And they actually agree with it. For one, he's not really bad-mouthing anyone. It's just the fact that he's speaking his legit, honest opinion. He actually believes this. And it makes a lot of sense. Some people get the short end of the stick when it comes to quirks or other certain circumstances they may have no control over. But you can't decide what you do about it. Are you going to have this experience these circumstances make or break you? Are you going to be molded into a piece of art or shattered? crumble just turn into nothing but uselessness discard it so yes everyone resonates with this staying especially wondering is like huh. that's a very interesting standpoint I never thought I'd hear that from a kid as he just looks down at Tensei. You. Never mind. I'll let you go. I was gonna, I'm gonna kill you. Or at least cripple you. But no. Is yes, yeah, Stain walks away, and Tensei is pretty much. Is this because of that boy's little heart to heart moment speech? In which, yes, which it was. So people start to get more inspired by Izuku, not only because, hell, he is quirkless, diagnosed so, but he had a determination to unlock something far more versatile than a quirk. So, yes, more things are changing. Best thing about it is, yeah, League of Villains doesn't really get that many more supporters. Hmm, go figure. However, it, when it comes to the whole Toroki versus Izuku fight, it's a lot more close. Because Izuku, he knows that he can only last in the cold for so long. He's not like his master. 
but he also knows that Shoto, though having more experience with it, he's not immune to the cold either. So he has two choices, either help the person who he's fighting against or just wait him out. He chooses the right answer and tells Todoroki, he's like, use your fire side or else you are going to lose a finger or two or worse. Him doing his old Tano Jutsu thing, which all anime protagonists seemingly have a, you know, a knack for, uh, specific little skills. But, Izuku just realized how technically stupid that was. He realizes, oh my god, now he's going to use the ice and the fire. He's going to keep himself warm while trying to freeze my ass. So yes, yes he is. Which not only is the fight more exciting, it actually allows Izuku to actually utilize more of Tylon's techniques. Which just so happens to be the nerve attack. Him one shining Todoroki and snagging the victory. When it comes to him versus Ida, he likes Ida. It's not really that big a deal, but he still wants to win. But Baku versus Izuku. I was actually so shook after all the shit that Izuku said. Everything he did. The fact that, yeah, he was going to put in the, my hero career if All Might didn't stop him, possibly. Even All Might is just watching, waiting just to see Izuku's move. Is he going to go all out, or is he going to show some mercy? Hmm. Eh, mer mercy never works. He beats the other living shit out of Bakugo. And then it just drags him off the thing. The tournament, though, he's out of bounds and got his ass kicked out. So, yeah. Poor Bakugo. Boo hoo. Now, let's get to the whole award ceremony. It says, Oh my has to present them. Izuku just like, Oh man, I want that thing. Especially if you're touching it. <clears throat> For your exemplary, I don't want it. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but you have to expect your reward. No, I don't. Not from you. Huh, I will take it. Midnight gets it to me. Wait, what was that supposed to... The metal. Get your head out of the gutter, old man. Old man, but I, I, I know I'm not a spring chicken, but still, that's not called for. <laughs> Don't forget, I can punch you right here, right now, in your weak spot, and expose you for the liar you are. Who was actually... Are you willing to take that chance? Uh, uh, <clears throat> Midnight, come over here. Okay. Yes, yes, he's going to see his metal through Midnight this time. And, yeah, he is... Happy that he actually won. The only thing is, uh, what is happening to me? This is when am I rude in public? This is when do I act like that? What's happening to me? Uh, this makes no sense. 
is back at the League of Villains Hangouts. Yeah, Awful One isn't really pissed, but he is a little bit upset. So, he must be the successor. Are you sure? Seems like he hates all my guts. Well, whether he is or not, let's see what we can do with him. <laughs> 